Andreas Popovic, here we are, FIBO 2002, and you've been living in Germany a long time, but you're not originally from Germany, right? No, I, I was born in Romania, and with seven years I come to Germany, and uh, I start training with 50 years, I train now seven years, yeah. and uh, start with the same head and the same weight, mm -hmm. 19 kilos, and... Um, 186 centimeters and now I have 122 kilograms after seven years and I live in Germany now and in Paderborn yeah. 150 kilometers from here uh -huh. not very far yes of course that very good uh, did you come to bodybuilding from another sport um, no I tried a lot of sports uh, swimming uh, uh, running and uh, so on and basketball and uh, table tennis and um, one day there was nothing uh, I can do and so I start uh, to train at home with a lot of weights and uh, then I went to the gym with the first time with nine years and I train only with a trainer because it was very uh, early and uh, of course very dangerous to train with nine years and uh, I trained then uh, one year and um, I made, uh, made then a, a pause from one year, and with 15 I trained without any um, interruptions. Mm -hmm. Well, that's very good because uh, when you started training, you weren't fully grown, and now you're very tall. Um, yes, but I uh, start. The, I was uh, with 10 years bigger than another boys with 10 years, and also with 50 years. It, uh, I don't think it has to do something with the bodybuilding uh, that I'm uh, now 186 uh, uh, then with 15 years. I was very early, very tall and um, that was uh, only my, my, um, my advantage, I would say. Right, because some people think that being tall is a disadvantage in bodybuilding. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, one side is a disadvantage because you have to do very hard to, to, to gain muscles. But uh, if you are there and you have a lot of weight and uh, you're very big, then it looks uh, better than a small guy. Yeah. A lot better, of course, if you look, uh, um, you have uh, the difference on the stage. Everyone is uh, only at stake, the small one and the big one, for his own, it's okay. But uh, if there are two together on stage, uh, the big one with very a um, lot of uh, muscles and the small one, I think uh, the big one looks uh, better and uh, more aesthetic. A good big guy can always beat a good little guy. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Arnold is the best example. Yeah. Arnold and Franco Colombo, yeah. uh, big guy and small guy. Yeah. They are two together very muscular, but uh, Arnold uh, won every contest sure. against Colombo because uh, I think Colombo had a lot of, a little bit more uh, muscles, mm -hmm. but uh, the optic and uh, he looks a little bit small and yeah. uh, he lost. And that's my opinion. Talking of contests, tell us about your career in competition. Yes, I made the first uh, contest with 50 years in the sub-junior class till, uh, till 80 years. And uh, the second uh, contest, well, the 60 years I won the contest and um, made the German Cup yeah. with 60 years um, in the class uh, till 80 years. And then uh, I made two years um, nothing and then I started again with 18 years when with 19 years yeah then in 20 years I won uh, the German Cup again in the junior class and uh, one week later the European uh, Championship in uh, Portugal and that was uh, two years ago right so how old are you now I'm 22 so you still got a great career in front of you. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. Hope to see you on the stage in Las Vegas sometime. Yes, maybe. Yeah. Great. Well, all the very best for your career. Thank you very much for talking yeah. to us today. Thank you. Good to see you here at FIBO.
I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I